Hey guys, Tech Nature with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your FaceTime not working on your iPhone or any Apple devices that you have. So we're going to go through all the troubleshooting steps that you can apply if you're having some issues with your FaceTime. So let's get started. The first thing whenever you're having issues with FaceTime is ensuring that you have the right connection to the internet. And the way you usually work with FaceTime is that it needs to connect to the internet either through the Wi-Fi or through your cellular data. So first thing you want to do is pull down the menu from the top and turn on airplane mode for a moment and then turn it back off. So the reason why we do that is that as you saw here all these other connectivity was going to turn off and then turn back on. Kind of quick refresh so if there's a connection issue impacting FaceTime hopefully it is resolved. The next thing you want to go ahead and check is in your actual Wi-Fi settings here you want to go ahead and make sure that your phone is connected to a Wi-Fi if you're using Wi-Fi if you're using cellular data make sure cellular data is turned on as well for your app now after you have checked that and you know that you have internet connection by maybe been going to the browser and kind of going to example like in a website just to make sure that you have internet connection it's time to move on to the next thing you want to check and the next thing you want to check here is in your settings here and this time in the settings here what we'll do is go down and look for FaceTime app here so we'll click on the FaceTime app setting and once we do that we're going to verify that the FaceTime here is turned on and you also see your phone number or email listed here let's say if it is turned off like that for a moment or you can turn it off for a moment and then click on it and turn it back on as you see here it takes a moment to turn it back on but it's important that you see your number when you do that and sometimes for some reason it might be turned off and it's not going to work for you now after you have done that the next thing you want to check out in your settings here is if you have screen time turned on you might not have screen time turned on in that case you can skip this step but let's say you have content and privacy restriction turned on like this I recommend going ahead and turning that off for a moment and see if FaceTime works for you the reason why that is when you have content and privacy restrictions certain things on your phone tend to not work and interfere with FaceTime to turn it off and see if that fixes your FaceTime issue now after you have done that you're still having issue the next thing you want to check is your date and time on your phone so you want to make sure you want to verify the time that you have on your phone is the same exact time in your local time so sometimes that time gets messed up and that could interfere with certain functionality of your phone the other way to check is in the settings here you're going to go to general and then look for this option which says date and time you click on date and time and make sure it's set to automatic and the location time zone is around the area that you're in again match it up if this doesn't match up turn it off and then turn it back on or you can manually select it as well but you want to make sure time and date is correct for your phone now after you have done that and still having the issue the next thing you want to do with your phone is a nice force restart so you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button like this on the right hand side when we do the volume up and down you want to make sure you do one after another pretty quick and then you'll hold the side button we're not going to slide to power off here we're going to wait till the screen goes completely black just like that and then once we see the apple logo we let go of that button and what we have done here essentially is turn off the phone completely and rebooting again but this time with the reboot it's reloading the software so if there is a software issue that's impacting facetime from not working it will resolve those issues and hopefully get your FaceTime working again once more. Now, let's say you're still having issues with FaceTime, still doesn't work for you, for you. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is reset the actual network settings themselves by going to settings and then general, go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone. And then you click on this reset option, the very first one, which will pop up menu like this. And the reset that we want to do is the second one, which says reset network settings so before you do that you have to understand what this will do this will reset things like saved wi-fi if you had any sort of vpn setting those will get erased and you have to uh, re-enter those and the reason why you want to do that is because sometimes the connectivity on your phone might be having issues and it's usually best to reset your network to troubleshoot now after you have done that and let's say it's not working and the next thing you want to go ahead and do is making sure your phone is up to date with the latest software version. To do that, you're going to be again 
in the settings here you're going to go to general and then software update and it's going to spin and look for update and if there's an update available it will show the update and then it will have the option to download and install make sure you're connected to a good wi-fi or cellular data and your phone is at least 50 percent or more or plugged in and you click on download and install this will take somewhere between 30 minute to 45 minute even longer or shorter depending on your connection why how big the update is and how well your connection is and how long it takes for the phone to download the update and the reason why you want up to date your software update on your phone is that sometimes a previous update might have broken certain functionality like FaceTime and we want to make sure that it's not the software that's impacting your phone now after you have done that and it's not working now it's time to check on Apple's website to see if the FaceTime service that Apple provides is actually working correctly and the reason why I want to do that is because Apple sometimes services go down and you need to make sure that the service is up and running so to do that you go open up a browser and then you're going to want to search up Apple system status so it'll take you to the very first one where Apple support you click on that and here you click on this plus sign and it will show you all the services the, that are currently working sometimes if a service isn't working it will show up unavailable as you can see here we want to verify FaceTime here is working so we go through here and you can see here the option for FaceTime it's available now let's say it says not available unavailable that means there's an issue going on right now and the best way to kind of resolve that issue is that you'll have to wait until it gets resolved and usually Apple themselves will see the issue and they'll resolve it within sometimes a couple minutes to hours or even days but generally Apple with their core services like that will do their best to repair it right away and you can also contact them to see if they have estimated time to repair that now after you have done that and you see it's available and it's still not working the next thing you also want to verify is that if you're traveling or in a country where FaceTime isn't available it just might not work for you so Google search the country you're in and see if FaceTime is actually available service in that country and we say that because certain countries don't have FaceTime capabilities with their cellular data provider as well so it's always good to verify that yourself so hopefully by now your issue is resolving your FaceTime is working if so please make sure that like and subscribe button also if you guys found a better way to fix FaceTime from if you're you know, broken on your phone leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time